Spurge here, and in this video, we're gonna break down the new collaboration between Kriga and Roland Sands with their new Rome lineup. So the Rome lineup is a lifestyle-oriented luggage setup that really focuses on backpacks and some smaller bags for your motorcycle. The collaboration between Kriga, who is a brand that we absolutely love here at Revzilla, and Roland Sands, a brand that we love, but typically on the apparel side of things, has brought the design aesthetic of what you'd expect from Roland Sands and the durability and quality for the luggage that you'd expect from Kriga. So we're gonna talk about a couple of different pieces within this line, starting with the Rome 34 backpack. On the table today, we also have the Rome bar bag, which is this one up top in all black. We've got the Rome tool bag, for you tool bag lovers out there. And then we have the Rome harness pouch, which is gonna be the little guy over there, adorable, sitting on the edge. So let's kick things off with the backpack. So if you've never used a Kriga backpack before, it's one of the more popular options because they've incorporated waterproof and a lot of technicality into their bags, as well as comfort for all day use on a motorcycle. So really what we have here is we've got the technicality that you'd expect from Kriga, but with some of the style and design that you'd expect from Roland Sands. So there's two different materials really coming into play. You've got a waxed canvas that sits on the outside shell of this. That comes from Roland Sands. And then you've got a 1000D Cordura main shell, which comes from Kriga. Now, if we open this up, what you will notice as we get through the main flap, and the other note here, if you didn't even see it, there's a little hidden pocket on the flap that is fleece lined. This is for goggles and or sunglasses. So a nice little protective pouch if you're using goggles or sunglasses while you ride. In the main compartment here in the back, this is your waterproof pouch. So this is a roll top waterproof. Same thing that we've seen from Kriga. The white liner is removable. You can pull that out, you can wash it, you can clean it. And this is large enough to fit up to a 15 inch laptop. So that's where your waterproof pocket comes into play. And again, with a roll top design, if you've never used one of these, the waterproof really comes from the fact that you've got to roll this down. So you want to make sure you get at least one or two good roll tops over so that the water can't push through the top. And then you've got snaps on either side, which holds that down and closed. So that's your first main pocket if you're looking for waterproof protection. Now, the exterior pocket on this is gonna be a water resistant pocket and you'll see you have a main zip that comes up and over. We've stuffed this bag full of t-shirts so it looked robust on camera, a little bit of the movie magic there, if you will. But you're gonna see a main pocket here and this is the pocket that's gonna be about 24 liters with expansion up to right around 30 liters. And the expansion on this comes from the outside and you see the zipper here on the outside takes that pocket open to its full 30 liter potential and that pops up. Now that zipper doesn't go all the way to the top there. You can see that's gonna just be a, a single zip. There's not a dual zip design there, which is frankly fine by me, super simple to use, but it gives you a little bit of extra expandability. Don't want the extra expandability, you can close that up, but it does open enough with the expansion that if you wanted to, you could fit a full face helmet in here. So if you leave it empty while you're riding, you get to where you're going, you can slip the helmet in there if it's expanded and you can go about your day and use it almost as a helmet bag for when you get to where you're going. Opening up the small compartment on the outside and it's exactly what you'd expect. You've got some smaller pockets in here for pens, for notebooks, you got a little hook for your keys, if you will, but just a simple design to the outside pocket with some extra storage capacity there. Now, let's take a look at the back on this because there are some things that I would like to highlight. Um, just some, some nice little innovative uh, designs that have been worked in here. So you've got their quad lock is what they call this harness strap. So that kind of is very reminiscent of what you'd expect from Kriega. You got adjustment straps down the bottom. You're gonna have extra 3D kind of foam padding with the straps on this. You're gonna see the little lightning bolt pattern into a very comfortably padded back on this. That comes from the world of Roland Sands. Now, one of the things you'll note here is this strap that runs across. This is designed so that if you wanna put this onto a sissy bar, if you're riding this on like a Dyna or a Sportster or any bike with a sissy bar, uh, you can actually strap this around and mount this to the back seat, if you will. Now, if you're not using it that way and you're using it as a backpack, this strap simply comes off 
and you go ahead and use it as a backpack. Now, one of the critiques that I've heard from people in the past is they like the little extra waist strap. Some people don't like the waist strap. So what Roland Sands has done here is they've created separate little pockets on either side that hold a waist strap. Now, if you're not using it, this simply folds away and you don't have it flapping around. One of the issues that we've seen in the past is that if you don't want to use it, you really don't have much of a choice but to cut it off. So what they've done is they've given you these little pockets on the side that hold that waist strap if you are not using it. And if you're using it while you ride, but then you're undoing the waist strap when you're just walking around town, you can go ahead and you can put that strap up in the little pockets here too. So very innovative design for, for folks that either want or don't want the waist strap. Um, it's worked into the design of the backpack itself. Now, when you're looking at all the additional little tie down points here, this is where the luggage becomes a bit adjustable within other bags in the line. For example, that little harness pocket that we were talking about, this is designed to be able to strap to the, uh, the backpack itself on either side. So you can add that little capacity there if you want a pouch for your phone. This is just water resistant though, keep that in mind. It is not a waterproof pocket, it is a water resistant pocket. And I would say based on the water resistant zipper that you're gonna have here, this is probably something that I would feel comfortable putting my iPhone in for what it's worth as far as waterproof protection goes. So they're claiming water resistance, um, but I would say that's probably gonna be plenty for me from a secure standpoint as far as you know waterproof protection for my cellular device. Now, a couple of the other pieces here are gonna be separate of the backpack. So these are pieces that would mount to your motorcycle. The first we'll take a look at here because it's a little bit easier to get to than the other one, which are Cameraman Mike has so daintily put up on a little piece of plastic there, so it's gonna be a real pain in the ass for me to take off of there and make it look like I put it back down correctly. So we'll do that one last. But if you're looking at the, the tool bag, this is a really sleek design. You're gonna see that same kind of a wax canvas. Now they do have an all black version as well for this stuff. So if you don't want the brown, you can see there are different colorways. Same thing, the main construction on this is 1000D Cordura, uh, which is extremely robust and durable. I've been using the same Kriga bag on my personal bikes for like nine years now. The stuff just doesn't wear out. It's extremely robust and that's really the main talking point for a lot of this stuff. So if you've ever used a tool bag before where like after you know four or five years it just starts to wear through, uh, that's where I think this is gonna be a nice advantage for a lot of people because the design of the materials is so robust. Now this one's coming in right around the $130 price point and know what you're thinking. You know, for that, you should probably get a bunch of tools with it. No tools included, just a really nicely designed, robust bag. On the inside, you're gonna have four separate pockets. Each one is roughly one liter in capacity. So the overall storage is about four liters for this. You're also gonna get one socket rail with this. Now, what I will say is if you look on the outside, it actually screws in. So you have a really nice secure system for how this mounts in. I thought that these were actually drainage holes, but this is designed so if you wanna add extra socket rails onto this, you can do so. So you have the availability to add extra socket rails to this if you're you know, worried about keeping more sockets. Maybe you're riding this with two different bikes. Maybe one of your bike is using standard, one of your bike is using metric. You can mix and match the amount of rails that you wanna put on this. And then from the outside, you're gonna see there's two little wraparounds for how you wanna mount this to the motorcycle, whether you're mounting it to the frame rail, whether you're mounting it to a sissy bar, whether you're mounting it to your, your fork tubes rather on the front of the bike. There's a couple different options for how you wanna mount this and it's really through this. Now the other option for you too is that if you wanna just put this on maybe something that's a bit more uh, scrambler-esque and you don't wanna put this around the front rail, uh, the front fork legs because you're riding off road and there's a lot of extra weight up front, you know, there's a way that you can then take these loops and maybe just use some rock straps and mount it to a luggage rack on the back or a passenger accommodations or something like that. So there's a couple different options, you know, if you're creative enough that you can mount this. And it's really just a nice storage option for those of you looking for a robust tool roll, but also something that has a bit of an aesthetic to it. So again, if you're using this on a scrambler or maybe something a bit more dirty or off-road oriented, you don't want just a regular tool roll, uh, this is a nice option for you. Solid grab, grab handle. And then again, you can see where the mounting straps are on the back of this. Now, the final one here is going to be that bar bag is what they're calling it. 
And this is designed for those of you out there, maybe on a Dyna, something with some handlebars that are not traditional low slung handlebars, maybe a little bit of an ape hanger look to them. So this would be designed to actually mount to the inside of your handlebar. And the reason is you've actually got a pocket on the front. The pocket here is reversible. And if you flip that around, there's a place that you can hold your cellular device. So you can actually use this kind of as a GPS mount too. And the nice thing about this pocket is you can mount it horizontally the way it is now, or you can flip it and it actually mounts vertically. You are gonna have an extra little storage pocket underneath here that's gonna have a little attachment for your keys. You got some extra little slots in here for pens or notebooks or things like that. Maybe you stick your wallet and your credit cards in there. You've got molly webbing all over this. So you got molly webbing at the top. So if you need to mount something additional to it, or if you wanna just flip this and go horizontally, that's what that extra molly webbing is for. On the back, this is again where you would mount this, very similar to what we saw with the tool bag. And it's designed to go around your handlebars and or your fork tubes there. And then same thing we've talked about with all these bags. You've got the wax canvas on the outside. This one is just the black version, as you can see. And then it's that 1000D Cordura. You've got the removable waterproof pocket. Same thing, that liner is removable, but this is a completely waterproof little pouch on the inside of this. This is roughly gonna be about three liters in overall capacity. So just a little bit of an extra storage accessory for those of you looking for something a bit more lifestyle in its, uh, in its inspiration you know, to mount to the front of your bike. Again, really what I like about this is it's not just the extra storage, but the fact that if you flip this pouch over, you can use it to mount a cellular phone to while you're riding, if you're using some kind of a navigation app like Rever or, or Google Maps or something like that. So really a nice collaboration between Roland Sands and Krieger. These are two brands that we have known and, and really enjoyed here at Revzilla for quite a long time. And it's great to see that they're, you know, kind of working together to give something that is a bit more of a high-end aesthetic and feel to it, but with all the dependability, reliability, and durability that you'd expect from a brand like, like Krieger. So you got the design aesthetic of Roland Stands and the durability and functionality that you get from Krieger. It's, uh, it's a really interesting and innovative line, and there's a lot of people out there that are already using this. So if you wanna hear more about what those folks have to say, you can go ahead and click the info button on your desktop or mobile device. You can read other rider reviews from folks that are already out there putting these bags through their paces. And if you have any additional questions for us, you can give anyone on our customer service team a shout and they can walk you through you know, the different luggage options available for you, your riding style, to make sure that you have the right bags to meet your riding style as well as your budget. So I wanna thank you for joining us for this look at the new line of Roland Sands and Krieger Roam bags. I'm Spurge, enjoy the ride.